Welcome back to the California Gardener. Here we have our uh, bean patch with a few butternut squash growing in it. I actually planted the butternut squash plants in between some of the rows because I knew they'd grow out here onto the sidewalk. Now we do have a volunteer tomato plant here from last year growing Roma tomatoes. You see there's a bunch of tomatoes on this plant. I just left it here since it's not really in the way of the beans. But then in front we have our butternut squash growing. You see we have three, three nice butternut squash growing here already. Uh, the vines will keep growing on each vine if it's growing good and has good uh, moisture and food. Plant food will actually produce, you know, two or three butternut squash and do really well uh, throughout the season. So these should continue to grow well. Now one tip that I have is when they're growing on the sidewalk, uh, the sidewalk kind of gets really hot, kind of damages the one side of the squash. So I put a little piece of wood underneath the squash as they're growing when I notice they're going to start budding out and growing, I'll just slide a little board under so that they can grow on that board and it uh, actually makes the butternut squash look really well. They don't get damaged and uh, as hot as they do on the concrete uh, since uh, the wood actually acts as kind of like an insulator for the, <clears throat> for the squash. So let's go a little bit further down the street and take a look at our pumpkins that are growing really well. So my wife says that my garden is too cluttered and she can't actually get in to pick things so that's why I do most of the picking. But I call it an effective use of space. I grow my pumpkin vines out onto the sidewalks, keep them off the grass and keep them growing along the open space where other stuff can't grow. Grow other things behind the pumpkin plants uh, that don't get interfered with behind. And uh, if you see here out on the sidewalk, I already have a few pumpkins growing from this season. These are uh, Cinderella pumpkins. They're growing nicely and I also put them on the wood uh, so that they don't get damaged like the other plants. You see those ones. I'll show you some other ones. I have some huge Cinderella pumpkins already uh, that planted themselves from this last fall. Check out this beautiful Cinderella pumpkin here I have in the back. Uh, I'm gonna put my hand on it so you can see the size comparison. This is a good sized pumpkin. It's probably already Probably about 20-25 pound pumpkin right there. Very nice, very good tasting, these Cinderella pumpkins and they look beautiful. They have an orangey red color and a flat shape so they're a very nice uh, decorative pumpkin. This is a beautiful guava blossom blowing here in the wind. I have a bunch of other growing here. This tree is loaded as you can see. I got all kinds of blossoms gonna turn into 